today we're going to show you how it sounds um, when you have low compression okay and this is going to help a lot of you out there determine if you have a compression issue it may not be this bad but you'll be able to hear the difference in cranking speed you don't need a fancy scan tool like this to tell you there's a low compression so just take a listen and then we'll get back to the results here Okay, so there you heard it. It's an uneven cranking just like that. What's happening is one cylinder has uh, less compression to it, so therefore it becomes easier for the starter to crank over when that particular cylinder's on the compression stroke. And I'll show you on the scan tool here how it looks. It's a great little tool relative compression that we have in the Ford IDS, but like I said, you go listen to it, have someone crank, foot to the floor so it goes into clear flood mode. It won't start, it'll just crank like that for you. And you can sit there and listen and evaluate. So sad to say, this is this guy's um, results on here. Like turn this down maybe or something like that. Here's the relative compression test tool. And what it does is it compares each cylinder on here to the next. So if they're all down, it's gonna show zero all the way across. So you gotta make sure some cylinders are good. You can see we have what, five cylinders here that are just fine. Oh dear Lord, look at cylinder six. And on this particular engine, you can actually hear the noise of a valve or a guide issue in, uh, right around number six over here. And we're also getting a misfire on number six, a dead miss, which makes sense the pressure's that low. Um, so right there, right around this valve cover area, intake area, you can hear the noise um, from the valve train there on number six, unfortunately. By comparison, this is the way a good engine sounds that has even compression across the board on there. Now the way you perform this procedure and get it into the clear flood mode so we can test the compression on there is you simply put the key to the on position as you see here. Then we're gonna go down here, we're gonna push on the accelerator pedal all the way to the floor, fully to the floor. And then we come up here and we can just start cranking. Now compression issues can come from a variety of sources from you know bent valve stems to valve seat issues, broken valve springs, uh, compression ring issues. There's a lot of different sources for a loss of compression. But at least at this point you know that you have a compression issue. The next step of course is to back it up with a mechanical gauge and to verify it. And then once you verify you have an actual compression issue, then you know you need to pull the valve cover off and inspect further. But at least this gets you to the point where you know you need to go next level and, and with the diagnostics on your vehicle. It's not something as simple as a misfire uh, from a, a spark plug or something like that. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tip. I enjoy putting these out because I know they're going to help a lot of you out there fix your Ford yourself. I'll see you next time.